Good afternoon once again to all of my friends out there. First of all, let me thank you guys so much for subscribing to my vlog on YouTube. Uh, so far, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. I want to tell you to tell your friends about it. Let them subscribe. I'm going to be talking about God's amazing power in my life experiences over the past couple of years and throughout my childhood and so forth and all of these things. So... Yesterday, I was telling you guys a story about me being in Colorado with my friend Jamil. But today, I want to tell you guys another story about me being in New Mexico by myself. And, you know, there's a scripture, of course, as always, that I'm thinking about. And another short one. Jesus Christ, he was speaking to his disciples and he was saying to them, he said, I will not leave you as an orphan. I will not leave you as an orphan. I just want you to reflect on that. You know, I was in the desert in New Mexico. I was driving to California one day by myself. I remember just leaving Ohio, just trusting in God to get me there. And I had some books to sell in my trunk. Beyond face value, I encourage you to get the remastered edition on Amazon. Support my mission, my 10,000 congregation mission by buying that book but yeah back to the story so i was there and the plan was that i was gonna pull up by the gas stations i was gonna buy some gas sell some books buy some gas sell some books buy some gas and make my way to los angeles i got to one particular gas station in new mexico and i had to pull in that one because my gas light came on and I was trying to sell some books there for like 30 minutes and nobody was trying to buy a book from me. I had probably like about $8 in my pocket. I didn't know how I, what was going to happen. I didn't know how I was going to make it. I remember like a couple of people, they gave me some change. Somebody gave me like a $5 and some, all, all kind of stuff, right? So the petrol staff came to me and they said to me, listen, you can't do that here. You need to leave. I went to my car. I sat down. I, I came to tears, actually. Let me be honest with you. I started to cry in my car. I said, God, like, where are you? You promised that you will never leave me, that you'll never forsake me, God. Where are you in this situation, God? And then I said to myself, I said, Romel, listen, you're in the middle of New Mexico. Is you alone out there. You don't know anybody. You can't fall apart. You can't fall apart right now. You know, you need to pull yourself together and you need to do what you got to do. You need to just buy a little bit of gas at this station with a little bit of money that you have. Try to get to another gas station and do your thing. So I was sitting in the car there and I washed my face with some bottled water out the window. I dried my face and I got out of the car and I started to walk. And as I was walking, I heard Romel. Guys, when I heard my name, I looked up, you know, as, as the scriptures say, I will look up my eyes to the hills from where comes my help. I looked up to the heavens because I was just saying to myself, I am in the middle of New Mexico. Who can know me? As if I forgot that God was everywhere and that he knew my name. But then I looked behind me and there was some guy. I don't remember this guy. But he's holding my book and he's coming to me and he's like, Oh, I thank God that you're still here. I'm, I'm so happy. We're so happy that you're still here. And I'm like, what? He said, don't you remember about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, you, I gave you $5 and you gave me a copy of your book and I told you to keep it. And you say, no, it's not about the book it, making money. It's about sharing the gospel. And me and my partner, we were driving down the road and I started to read the book and I just had to turn back and we raced back up to this gas station and we were praying that you were still here. Romel, how could we assist you? Do you need some gas? Do you... Listen, I met these people from Burbank, California, and they helped me with getting gas all the way into Los Angeles. They invited me to their home that I could have a room for myself in Los Angeles, in Burbank. 
It was such an amazing experience. God, he didn't leave me as an orphan. He didn't leave me stranded in the middle of nowhere. And he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. If you just put your trust in him, he will continue time and time again to do it for you. He is able. Trust me. Take it from me. He is able even as I'm in Southampton right now today. And by his grace, I am here. And by his mercy, I am sustained. And we're talking about me. If you know me from a long time ago, from 10 years ago, then you would know I'm the least person who would deserve the grace of God. You know, after they threw acid on my face, I said to myself that there was, that there was no God. And I cursed the heavens every single day. But when God, in his perfect timing, chose to reveal his son, Jesus Christ, and his love in my life, oh my gosh, that was the most amazing day ever. Because from that day, when I put my trust in him, he never failed me. So if he will do it for me, Romero Velo, who was the chief of sinners, then he will definitely do it for you if you put your trust in him. He's able.